Hey guys, what's up? By Sactatron here from One Half Gazette. Here with the next video. This is a war recap video of the war against Why So Golem. Uh, funny name there, but was a good war, um, an arranged war, friendly war. And uh, you can see the results here. Got the victory by a one star margin. So came down to it. They actually got higher percentage. It just worked out that way. But the stars are what mattered for this one. And uh, at that, we had 110 to their 109. If you look through the uh, war map here, you can see we have, um, they got a lot of our 10s uh, taken care of, but not quite as many as we did. Uh, they got the 411s two star. The difference was, even though we left this 111 one starred, we had an additional two Town Hall 10 three stars, I believe. Um, you can see we left one, two, three, four, five, and they left one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So uh, the Town Hall 10 three stars made the difference. Um, would have been nice to grab that uh, one up there, but uh, it happens. We're going to take a look at a few attacks today. I am really tired, so I'm not going to make a terribly long video. Um, we'll just go ahead and get into this first one, a Town Hall 10 versus Town Hall 11. Yeah, it's really late here, guys, so um, I am pretty tired, but uh, I'll do my best to go through this. Got four attacks for you guys, starting with a 10 v 11. Um, I think this was the only successful 10 v 11, which um, is a testimony to their base builders, so good job there to them. I wasn't around for the war and the actual battle day, so I can't say exactly uh, whether it was just kind of a lack of ARP, uh, you know, attacking, uh, a lot of good uh, base building on them or a combination, but I'm sure both were at least, it must have been at least some combination, and I think their bases do look pretty solid from what I, as I was skimming through this war. Uh, you can see right here JC coming in, has to use some more wall breakers, but he brought a few extra, so that initial fail didn't uh, really matter that much. The Rage goes down, has to use the ability as well, which is common at Town Hall 11, uh, having to use that ability, you know, more than you would like to, because the that max level 13 or whatever point defense is very brutal um, when you have all in the expos with the new level and everything. Uh, level 4, it can make it tough. So the Queen goes down, uh, which is a bit of a concern, but the Boulders actually get a very lucky second bounce there. I think they were targeting a building and then later a Skelly Trap or whatever. So they just got a ton of second bounces on the Town Hall, which is good because the Valks don't look like, look like they were going to take the jump towards the Town Hall. Now they might have had it still been up, but it looks like they got drawn off towards the bottom here. So it gets pretty lucky. In general, you want to protect your Queen by dropping down your Golem and your Boulders sooner. Because uh, the Queen can be an important asset in taking out the Town Hall. So don't just use her uh, for percentage. Use her to actually get in there, take out the Town Hall. She'll do a good job sitting back, especially if you can save her ability. If there's a Lava Hound in the CC, then just let her um, then let her take more punishment and have her get her value at the beginning. But if there's, a, if there's no Lava Hound in the CC, sometimes it's better to make sure you invest a little more, you know, get those Golems down sooner, even if it means more damage on them, and make sure your Queen is still up, joining your Kill Squad into the base. Because uh, oftentimes she will be the difference between the 55% one star and the 55% two star being the town hall going down. Uh, so moving on here, we got a town hall 10 triple. Uh, again, one of the uh, the few, it was the town hall 11s that got the job done this war, I would say. And the town hall 9s as well. We had, um, looked like the 9s, you know, no problems there. And the 11s, not only uh, getting multiple dip three stars, which uh, is pretty common, in these wars, but also going up and two-starring the other Town Hall 11s as needed, uh, with the exception of that one base that wasn't taken care of up top. So good stuff to our 11s this war. Right here you can see, uh, drops that Rage, this is Alesso. So kind of a unnecessary Rage, but I think you get some benefit from it right here because he would have needed it anyway. Possibly, possibly not. I think he might have because there was still the Cannon and the Queen to deal with even, you know, about five, six seconds after the ability had ended. Um, looks like he's going to meet up with his kill squad at the bottom here, dropping in the wizard, the uh, the golems, the tank, of course. A lot of point damage on that one golem, so it does pop or, or bust, I guess, whatever, pretty quickly. But uh, by that time, everything's moving to the base. The king's tanking, the, the healers are still on the queen. I think they will step up eventually and start to heal some of those other troops and get the benefit of that rage. Um, those are the, well, the, the healers don't go down to seeking air mines or air defenses, of course. 
Uh, CC troops come out. Dragon balloon. We're seeing that a little bit more lately. Level six dragons, pretty solid, but nothing the queen can't deal with. Uh, so it comes in here. This guy was nice enough to put some of his air defenses. Uh, not only <laughs> in central locations, but in places with great value for freezes. Um, Alesso misses that freeze. That Inferno and that air defense could have both been frozen. So that's an important point. Um, if, you, if you see that the air defense right there is close enough to the Inferno right there, uh, with that kind of, even if it's staggered, if there's the Inferno compartment with the two tile buffer around it and the air defense right on the edge, even if it's a little bit offset, you can typically still get it. If you're wondering, you can always try a friendly challenge if someone has a base that looks like that. Um, you can try to friendly challenge it. if um, You can't build the base, of course, because there's a 24-hour cooldown. But um, oftentimes, you can get that freeze if you just take a little bit of a risk. But always err towards the side of the Inferno, because typically that's more important to freeze. So good stuff to Alesso. Pretty simple once the Laloon came in, in terms of getting the 3-star from there. Uh, with the air part of the attack. So let's move on to Jess Jess. This attack had a few a nice uh, nice adjustments, I think. Just overall, some good considerations in this attack. Most likely a cleanup. I typically don't check if they're a cleanup or not, but uh, this one most likely was a second attack or something like that. So coming in here with some golems, wizards to back it up, creating the funnel. Typical stuff, pretty wide funnel. And you'll see, um, I'm not a huge fan of putting down those golems and just letting them take punishment and then having them be almost dead by the time you enter the base. It seems like a bit of a waste of troop space because right here, both the golems pop. He's got 60 troop space just for the getting the funnel and a few defenses and stuff. I feel like it has to be more of a rush if you're going to, you know, once all that stuff's locked on, you got to get moving and create the funnel some other way without using up all the golems hit points. Uh, but the point is that jump was a good invest uh, adjustment. I don't think he was planning on using it there. I think he wanted to use it deeper into the base. Now, I can't be sure, but I think he was afraid his troops were going to walk towards the bottom. So that looks like it was a bit of an adjusted jump spell right there. Uh, you can see the heal uh, towards the beginning here. And look at that, the skelly trap and to distract the Teslas and the Expo. Then the hogs to come in. Uh, it's a nice combination there, skelly trap hogs. Um, if there's a big Tesla farm area on the base like that with those giant bombs and everything, um, the giant bombs don't matter as much, but if there's a lot of like that, that concentrated damage, the Skelly Trap can do um, can be pretty effective because it'll take some of the damage off the hogs, but at the same time, um, a few of those Skellies might get a few hits on the defenses while the hogs are tanking, so it's just kind of a beneficial relationship. A uh, nice little something to put down right before you send your hogs in. Uh, but a pretty easy uh, run through the space here. Just has that mortar left. His hogs, or the archer tower as well, his hogs will get picked off by the king a little bit here. Uh, but he still has plenty of troops left after more we'll fast forward to the end here. One more attack. I am really, really tired. Uh, but got one more for you guys. Uh, number 27. Alright, that'll do it. Builder's heck goes down. Okay, uh, this was an air attack, I believe. Tornado top hat. Yeah, this was that... Well, it wasn't exactly that TDH or whatever you guys call it. <laughs> uh, this was... It had the minions, so it's, it's something like that. But it had a queen walk. I thought it was a nice little mixture of a few different elements. Basically, uh, the poison on the queen, I like the timing as well, you know, the queen is so far out <clears throat> that he can almost time it to make it so that uh, the queen is over the wall when he drops the king in, that way it doesn't have to break through the wall, it just takes her out really easily. Uh, the skelly trap was there, but it didn't engage until after the fact, so that worked out nicely. Uh, but there's the queen walk, baby dragon to create the funnel, just gonna send that queen in to get the two air defenses. My one critique of this, and... I see why he's waiting on the wall breakers a little bit because there is that archer tower that still hasn't engaged and he doesn't want to get picked off. So maybe I can see it a little bit more right here. I guess he figures he has to anyway. Uh, but you can see the archer tower can't quite one shot the wall breakers. So get those wall breakers down sooner rather than later when a queen is taking out compartments because if all the buildings in one compartment go down, the wall breaker pathing can get weird and cause them to go into a weird spot, not opening up the right location of the base. So you got to be careful about that. 
um, but it worked out okay here for Tornado. You can see coming through here, I'm gonna step up, get like a Tesla and a few other defenses as well. So some pretty good value there. Uh, as that rage runs out, he uh, he goes back down to like one point defense. Actually, and the queen will take out that expo easily as well. Comes in with the lava hounds, the balloons, once again, just nice central locations. Especially, that was nice to put the Tesla farm right next to that air defense. So the lava hounds do all the tanking. Queen takes out that expo, so she's going back to full health. Uh, there's all the minions. Minions should typically be right behind. If you're going to bring that many minions, it's more than just cleanup. So... You want to you want to get those down sooner so they can take out defenses as they move through if needed. Um, so I'd recommend you know it's it's hard when you're trying to scroll through the troops you know get the the haste and the heal and the balloons deployed. But if you can try to just get a nice um, spread of minions, just a quick uh, slide across the screen, and get those minions down right after the balloons go in, that'll tend to serve you better. Uh, some nice stuff to tornado top hat and that'll do it for this video like i said not the longest one i am super tired but i wanted to get one war, war recap out for you guys because it's been a little bit while a little while i'm a little bit been a little bit busy so uh i uh, hope you guys are excited to get back into some videos for this weekend and uh thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next one bisect the trun out